Hello YouTube, this is Tyans, and I'll be showing you something that most WoW players should know if they're going to play long term and maybe even some short term people. But what I'm going to be talking about are bank alts. Bank alts are very important, whether it's just to hold all your stuff or just to make gold or, I mean, just to have. They're good to have. Now, if you looked at one of my older videos, you saw that I have three bankers. Two of them I actually use because when I was leveling up, um, leveling up, um, my three char my three main characters, I did a lot of farming, so I got a lot of gold from that. So I just bought a bunch of stuff, level up their professions. But since Miss Pandaria. I went to switch professions, but before it came out, I already um, reset them, and before Miss Pandaria, I couldn't get on, so I kind of reset it for nothing, but it's alright. Um, first off, what you want to do is, obviously, you want to create a new character. It could be any race, it doesn't matter. I would suggest not picking... Um, any of these three, a working goblin or pandarian, because they have to go through a starting zone, and um, you really don't need any levels for it. But yeah, you just pick whichever one you want. Um, you can pick any kind of looks you want. The class doesn't matter. Um, you just go by and customize it, whatever you want. And then what you want to do is you want to go in. I created one before I made this video. You want to enter world and you want to go to your nearest major city. Like for the Alliance, it's Stormwind, and for the Horde, it's Orgamore. Obviously, you can't go to the um, to the Miss Pandaria place. But what you want to do is you want to go straight to your major city, and you want to go to the Innkeeper. Um. Well, you don't have to go to your innkeeper, but um, you can delete your health. You can delete your health stone on the way, and um, just sell some stuff. And I accidentally sent this character um, some BOAs, but it's okay. Um, what you first want to do is obviously you want to have some bags. You want to fill up these bags. I just have. Um, this one 16 slot for right now, but that's because of this. Now, obviously, since you're a banker, you want to start out with a lot of space so you don't fill up really quickly and then, like, get in a dangerous situation. You could also fill up these bank, these bags right here. Um, they start from 10 silver, I think it goes to 20, then 50, then 10 gold for the rest of them. You also get a little achievement for doing that. But what I use for this character is a guildmate. Now, it's nothing special. I just made it right now. I just um, bought it a few days ago. And actually, a lot of people, they are willing to sell their guilds. Whether it's just been unsuccessful or they couldn't get it to level. But, yeah, this guild, it has a few members in it. But um, the person who sold the guild to me said, that these are just his alts, and he might get on them if he needs to, but I can still use the guild. He's using these to, um, like, get the perks, but, um, he switched guilds, and he just left these, and some of them are his friends that don't really get on. I'm not gonna kick them out, so I'm gonna let them leave if they want, because some people, like, I've done this before, I've, um, I've got off for a while, and I I asked the guild leader not to kick me from the guild because I wasn't going to be on for a while, so you just need to do that. Well, if you do have a um, guild with members in it, it really doesn't matter, but what you want to do is first you want to send your banker some gold. Um, I think the first one is 500, the second one is 1,000, and then each one is 1,000, then if you love your guild up some more, then you can get some more tabs, but you shouldn't need that many because um, there's a lot of space in this. 
Well, first, what you want to do is obviously you want to you want to um, sell a certain type of thing, or just make it just a banker and not a seller. So, if you're a seller, then obviously you're going to be a lot more organized. And if you're a banker, then you just put all your stuff on this character when you need it, then just send it back. But this one, it is going to be a seller. And right now, I'm going to show you what a seller would look like. I'm going to log out right here. I'm going to go to my main one. This one is level 3 just because um, I had some trouble getting to Orgrimmar and I had to um, fight a few things on the way. And plus, I got some um, experience for finding things. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at the auction house because that's the main thing I go to. What, uh, what you should do when you first start off is you click search and then you click right here where it says current bid you click it twice to where you'll see the highest thing and um, then you just see what the lowest thing is now if I was just starting off what I'll do is I would buy these things because they're only 80 copper and they're only 80 copper and also this this is actually a really good find someone is selling this for 15 a bid price of 15 copper and the vendor price is 11 gold, 11 silver, and 53 copper. So that is a good find. Um, I actually had an instance before where um, I don't I don't remember what realm it was on, but one of my old realms, someone was selling a mechanahog for only 10 gold. Now back then, mechanahogs they're like the childless tundra man. It's like if you got one, then you were just the best. So. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't play until after he took it off, but, um, my friend, he did get it, and he gave it to me. Well, he gave it to me because, um, I told him about it, and then I, um, gave it to my brother. I didn't really need it at the time because I didn't know what it was for. I thought it was some kind of gear. But, yeah. Anyway, um... What you want to do is obviously buy some stuff and you want to fill up your bags. Now, for this character, um, since it is my main, I just like it to look really good, so I have a bunch of clothes. But you do not need a bunch of clothes, I just like to have it. Um, as you can see, I have enchants right here, I have mining stuff right here, scraps and idols. Um, it's not really anything important. I'm just holding these for right now because I was farming this thing. But I just had an extra tab. Um, this, just all kinds of fish and meat. Obviously, these are just pets. Um, before Miss Pandaria, I was selling a lot of these, especially these Ancon chickens and these um, Leaping Hatchlings. But since all your pets are shelled through each account, then kind of having a hard time selling them unless there's new players and these I um this chance all this whole tab a few days ago what I do is from all my characters I just send the gear to this to this character then I put it in here and then I look through it because like some of the gear I might want to transmog so I'll keep it but if I don't then I just leave it in here and then when it gets filled up then I ask my um, personal disenchanter to just dis disenchant it all for me. So if you want to do that, you can. If not, then well, if you don't want to do it, you could just ask someone to disenchant as soon as you get it. But I don't see a reason to do to do all that. Now my banker at first was an inscription inscription banker, so all it has was glyphs and inks and stuff like that. But then um. I started getting more and more stuff, so I just turned it into uh, just a banker. I do have a few more bags out here in case I do need to switch them out. But there's just some bags right here, some of these um, crystal things, glyphs, some more mining stuff, and yeah, some more clothes. So that's basically what you want to do now. What you want to first start off doing when you start a character 
um, if you're going to have a guild bank, you want to deposit a thousand gold. Now, I don't have a thousand gold right now because um, I just bought some more slots for my bank. And um, I bought this ember silk bag. But um, what you want to do is you want to have a thousand gold in your guild bank at all times. And then you want to have at least 500 gold in your bags. So what that'll do is every day I get on, I get, I only get on like once a week, maybe twice on this character. Just check my options and check what's selling and stuff. And if I um, see someone wanting to sell something in trade chat, then I'll go look that up. But yeah. Ooh. Didn't look like a lot of my things old. Ooh. Well, it's all fire sold. Okay, well, what some people might want to do if they're like planning to do this for a while is get these add ons. You don't need to have these, but I just like to have them. It's Auctionator, whoops, and Postal. Auctionator, Postal, and Bank Stack. You don't have to have Bank Stack, but I like to have it just so I can organize it faster. But you want to have those three add-ons. What Auctioner will do is it'll scan the auction. Well, actually, I'll go and do that. But what Postal will do is it'll give you this, and where you'll know me, type in your person's name. It'll give this little drop-down menu to where you can add contacts. So, like, if you recently mail someone and you, like, if you're mailing a guildy some mats, then you can just go through here and just go and select their name and say with alts and friends and guild people. And with Bank Stack, what it does is, um, you see my bags are like, there's some spaces in between here. If I click Bank Stack one time, it shows a little thing right here to where if you click, it'll sort bank and we all click and it'll sort your, bet, your bank and all that. Well, what it basically does is, it, right here in your chat, it's, it says 67 moves to make. And then it'll move the things. You cannot loot anything while you're doing this. You can loot money, but not any type of object, because then it'll show this. Well, when you're done, it'll say complete, and then if you try to do it again, it'll say this. So that'll keep you from just constantly clicking it. And right before I go, I'm going to show you what Auctionator does. It's a really good add-on. I've been using it for a while. Um, my friend Bank Plus, he told me about it, um, and I've just been using it. So what you want to do is, when you first install it, you want to go to buy. Well, that's what I did, and you want to um, you want to create a new shopping list. So anything you normally buy, then you would put it in this list, and then you would search it. And then it'll automatically pick up. Like, let's say you are leveling, engineering, or mining, and you want to search copper bar. You would click a new shopping list, copper bar, accept, so, and then you add item. Just because it's in the name doesn't mean it'll show up. And then you add the item. Then, once you go to that one down here, you could just click search, and it'll bring up it'll say scanning auctions and then it'll bring up all the things for um, that group and it doesn't just have to be one item it could be um, a lot of searches like this or it's just a bunch of random items or it could just be singular items and you can go to sell and just put in what you want and it'll do the same like for this it'll, um, it'll put the date if it's been a while if not it'll just leave it there but yeah, that's basically what you need to be a bank vault. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, then just tell me. Bye.